stone a building material today i anu mathur lecturer interior decoration government women's polytechnic sanganer jaipur will talk about the origin and classification of stone stone has always been a very common and integral building material in building construction owing to its qualities and characteristics it has been used in many ways in the buildings as we know the stone is obtained from rocks so the study of rocks and its classification is important to study stones so let's start with the study of classification and types of rocks with the help of the given chart here the given chart gives us a brief overview of rocks and its classification to start the rocks are being generally classified into three geological chemically and physically the geological classification further gets divided into igneous sedimentary and metamorphic the igneous further gets divided into plutonic hyperbasal and volcanic the sedim the sedimentary into clastic chemical and organic and the third metamorphic now speaking about the chemical classification the chemical classification is divided into siliceous argillaceous and calcareous the third that is the physical classification is studied under stratified unstratified and foliated so this was a brief description or brief overview about the rocks its classification and further its types now moving on let's study about the geological classification under which comes the three types of rocks that are igneous sedimentary and metamorphic to start with the igneous rocks thus these are the rocks formed due to the cooling of molten rocky material known as magma both under the earth surface and even over the earth surface the rocks so formed deep inside the earth surface are known as plutonic the rocks formed at a shallow depth are known as hyperbasal and the rocks formed on the earth surface are known as volcanic rocks such rocks have glassy smooth surface with random arrangement of minerals some common types of igneous rocks are basalt dolerite granite and many other now let's start net now let's study about the sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks are usually formed due to regular erosion and weathering of pre-existing rocks such type of rocks are formed on the earth surface as well as in water bodies such rocks can further be studied under as clastic chemical and organic the clastic the clastic rocks so formed are due to the accumulation of tiny pieces of broken rocks the chemical so formed are due to the accumulation of previously dissolved minerals in water which after evaporation gets deposited on the pre-existing rocks finally the organic sedimentary rocks are formed due to the accumulation of any form of animal or plant remains on the pre-existing rocks so according to this some common types of sedimentary rocks are shell sandstone limestone gypsum etc moving further to the third type of rocks that are known as the metamorphic rocks such rocks are as the name suggests are formed when the existing rocks undergoes metamorphism a complete change over both physical and chemical 
This is generally due to extreme pressure and temperature acting on the pre-existing rocks. Some common examples are slate, marble, cyst, quartzite and many more. So this was about the geogra geological classification of rocks. Now we are going to study about the physical classification of rocks which is usually studied on the basis of the physical structure of the rocks. On, on, on the basis of the physical structure, these rocks are being classified as unstratified, stratified and foliated. The unstratified rocks are those which are having many stratas and can be split up into their plants as thin layers and sedimentary rocks fall under this category. Secondly, the unstratified rocks. These rocks have many stratas but are compact, granular and crystalline and the igneous rocks falls under this category. Thirdly, the foliated rocks. These rocks are such which generally split up in one definite direction. So the metamorphic rocks are considered as these types of foliated rocks. Moving on to the third classification or the third type of classification that is the chemical classification. The, cla the chemical classification is studied on the basis of the chief constituent of the rocks. According to this the chemical classification gets divided into three types of rocks that is siliceous, argillaceous and calcareous. The siliceous rocks are those that have silica as the principal constituent Next, and granite is one of the best example of this. Secondly, the argillaceous rocks, they are basically those rocks which have clay sized particles or clay minerals as their predominant constituent and sandstones and slates are the best example or the common examples. Finally, the calcareous rocks. Such rocks are those which consist chemical carbonate or the calcium carbonate sorry as a principal constituent and the best examples are limestone and marble. So this was all about the study of rocks and its classification along with its types giving us even the brief about what exactly the stones are and what their qualities and characteristics are.